Good morning, and I'd like to show you my routine with my decent espresso machine and how I make two lattes in the morning for me and my girlfriend. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and just talk a little bit as I do it. So uh, the machine's already preheated and I've got my portafilter warm. I've got my grinder here and I use our funnel and I use a scale to weigh it. Uh, my recipe is 15 or 16 grams, and I'll explain in a second. So here I am weighing out 16 grams. Okay, 16.17 says my scale. So there I am. I give it a little tap so it doesn't fall out, and then over the sink so I don't make a mess, because it is the morning and I'm not my best. I tap a little bit like that, and now it looks pretty even. Go to my tamping stand. Okay, uh, at this point I just tamp, boom, lift that out, give that a brush, and lock the portafilter in. Okay, I have two cups, and put that there and start that. Uh, in my case, I use two portafilters. Um, this one's not preheated, but it'll do the job. Now my second shot takes 15 grams, and the reason there's a difference, I'm gonna tear here. Okay. The reason there's a difference is that this grinder keeps some grinds in it from last night. So they're not uh, all fresh in the first shot. So I add an extra gram to compensate for that. If I don't put the extra gram in, it flows too quickly. Okay, so here's the shot flowing and I can see it going. It's going from 0.5, it's got one mils per second. The profile I'm using right now is climbing to eight bar and then slowly descends to four bar and will stop automatically at 32 grams in the cup. So as soon as that's finished, I'm gonna yank it out. It's gonna stop on its own right about now. Okay. You notice the scale is below uh, the drip tray, so that lets me fairly easily keep the surface clean. Do the next one, boom, and now start. Okay, next I'm going to make enough milk for two lattes. Now this thing will take up to 600 milliliters of milk. Um, I put about 380 in, and I'm going to steam for a little bit. Uh, and then I'm gonna let the pitcher just sit. So here I am pouring in 380. Okay. And I'm also gonna turn the thermometer on. Um, and it's at the 62 centigrade, which is the temperature I like. So this shot's just about to finish and I'll be able to start steaming in a second. So I take that off, there we go, hit steam. Now in this case, I'm gonna do half hands free. So I'm gonna push the steam one down a little bit like that, and I start steaming. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is build up a nice smooth head of steam, and I've got the tip just slightly out. You can hear that, that nice steaming sound, and I'm just keep lowering the pitcher, okay? And I'm just doing it one hand because the milk is not that hot yet. And basically when the pitcher hits bottom, it'll be ready for me to set. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that. So what I do is just gently move it back to the back there. And I'll let the whirlpool go. Now while that's finishing, because that's going to take a good minute, uh, I'm going to take my two pucks and bang it out. If it's not too dirty, I brush it out. But um, since I have two porter filters, I have a brush right here. Um, if I have two porter filters like I do here, I'm just gonna rinse them out. It's never happened before. Uh, my basket fell out, probably from my last demonstration of how to change baskets. So I'm gonna rinse that out. That's at 60 degrees. Okay. I'm gonna hit stop. I'm gonna take 
that out. I grab this and I give that a little wipe. Now I try to make two lattes with one set of milk. So this is at just under 600 now. And I'm gonna pour that in. I'm gonna try and pour in a half. Okay, so a little bit more. Uh, what I find is the milk needs a little bit of time to rise. The foam needs time to rise in order to make a latte. So I'm gonna lock that in. At this point, I'm gonna hit the off button here because I don't need the machine anymore. And I'm gonna pour my first latte. Now this I'm still working on uh, is getting perfect latte art on two at once. Let's see how it turned out. Okay, so the first one's pretty good. It's a little bit thin, but it's not bad. And the second one, I'm gonna do with this milk jug. And usually the second one's a bit thicker. Okay, so I'm moving my milk jug up and down to try and mix the film, the foam up. Okay, and this one, as you can see, is definitely thicker than the uh, first one I did, but they're both pretty acceptable. And at this point, I'm gonna rinse my two pitchers. And turn off the motor that and go enjoy my coffee.